Well, speaking of award season, uh, one film that's been getting a lot of buzz is Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, which stars Lily Gladstone, who's also in a couple episodes of Reservation Dogs. Uh, you sent some very strong, strongly worded tweets calling the film uh, painful, grueling, unrelenting, and unnecess- unnecessarily graphic. You go on to say, I'm quoting, our pride for being Native, our languages, cultures, joy, and love are way more interesting and humanizing than showing the horrors that white men inflicted on us. Uh, I was wondering if you could unpack this for me, and how would you have preferred that the story be told? I mean, I want to shout out all of the Osage folks who worked on that project and the Osage Nation who has quite literally made it more human. And so many of the positive parts of that film are because of the Osage Nation. Um, I think a lot of the things that I said on the posts were things that I stand by and things that I believe. I grew up in a in a very outspoken Mohawk community, and that's... Um, yeah, Mohawk people are known for being fiery and, and opinionated, even though sometimes I feel like I might be a little more mild-mannered than that. Um, but yeah, I think that there were some really incredible performances in there. I think there's also should always be room for critique on how we can better represent our communities and how we can involve Indigenous people in front of the camera, behind the camera at all levels, um, especially when it comes to stories about ourselves and our communities.